Welcome to my book review. <laughs> this is my second installment of the things I read in 2020 and some thoughts if anyone's actually following this. I've been reading a lot of sci-fi books. I've been trying to mix up the different genres of books I've been reading, not because I actually expect anyone to watch these, but because it gets boring reading the same stuff all the time. However, a good amount of them have been sci-fi because that's just what I like to read. Today's book that I'll be reviewing is To Be Taught If Fortunate by Becky Chambers. I chose this book because Becky Chambers is one of my favorite authors. She's been a huge inspiration to me. This book's about space exploration and it follows a crew sent out to a distant solar system pretty much just to find out what's there. Uh, I thought it was a nice break from most sci-fi I've read because it was just about learning for the sake of learning and not like we're gonna colonize these worlds or we're gonna take what's on these worlds for our own personal gain. It was literally just, let's figure out what's there, let's learn about this. It takes place during a time before faster than light travel has been discovered, so contact with Earth is off by a couple years, which I thought was a pretty interesting storytelling device to use. Eventually the crew notices that they're not getting messages from Earth anymore, and they discover that something probably happened to Earth while they were gone. So it opens up this question of, did the people of Earth forget about them? And is it even worth returning if they are going to be the last astronauts? The worlds they explore are vivid and engaging. They just fill you with like a sense of wonder and it just makes me wish, God, I wish I could be there. Becky Chambers has this way of incorporating real science into her book without estranging a reader like me who has an average knowledge of science. Um, it just adds this sort of realism to her books that like, oh wow, like this could really happen. They almost feel prophetic at times. I found the crew very likable and diverse. Three members of the crew are in a relationship together. Polyamory is not really an interest of mine, but I thought it was well done. It's a healthy relationship. They all care about each other and it's never used as like a point of drama. Also, one of the crew members is trans and another one is asexual and just that good, good representation that I crave. What I didn't like about the book was how rushed at the end it feels. It's a small book, only 150 pages, but it just seems like the climax happens and then the book ends. To be fair, maybe if she wrote anything more it would have just seemed redundant or pointless, but overall I didn't like the way it ended kind of in the middle of their mission. That's just my personal opinion though. Overall I thought the book was fantastic, it held up as well as anything else I've read by her and I know I said I'm not really here to recommend or dissuade people from reading books but I really do think that she's a brilliant author and that everyone should check her out if you're into sci-fi. If you want to see more of my book reviews in the future, make sure you subscribe. If you made it to the end of this video, do me a favor and hit that like button. If you didn't make it to the end of this video, I guess you're gonna have to miss the panty raid. I'll see you next time. You say what's in your heart. I don't know what's in my heart. All of my thoughts get jumbled all the time. It's so hard to do anything. No, it's okay. This is why do I don't it. like to have conversations with people ever because I no. can't talk. You can do it. She plunges a lot of development into these 100 pages, mm -hmm. these 100 bad boys. I don't even know how long this book is. 153 pages yeah. of good, good quality fucking content. Um, this bad boy can fit so much world development. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh,